Sport 157, Alec Pentelio up against Johnny Van Brill. Two ranked wrestlers in the Flow National Rankings going up against it. Two seniors. And here we go, Johnny Van Brill in the same position as Ashnault. It's his last ever here at the rack. Yeah, this is an important match for Van Brill. You know, he, Alec Pantaleo just really has a, a a lot of stuff he could throw at you, but uh, you know, and, and if he gets to your legs, he's as good as finishing in the country. And you see that that respect is already there because Van Brill will go, you know, quick to the knees. And so you don't want to stand around a lot on the tracks here with uh, uh, the freight train trouble possibilities of Alec Pantaleo. You know, stand down low right now. If he can go ahead and, you know, bring this match a little closer. You see how that distance was created right there. Look for Van Brill to kind of stay really low, drop into that knee. But he's moving forward when he's doing it there. He's not moving away. Alec Pentelio, the uh, redshirt senior out of Canton, Michigan. Canton High School is a two-time All-American. Been fifth, been sixth. Yeah, pretty good first minute for uh, John Van Brill. Good scouting at this point. Little swing attempt right there off of the drag. Two-on-one position. You can see how Van Brill's decided to defend that by grabbing the tricep, that right tricep right there and controlling the wrist. Van Brill out of Malika Hill, oh, there New it Jersey. Is. Right there. Trying to ward off this attempt by yeah. Pentelio. You know, this is for guys who are tough at, at, at staying on one foot right there. Now he's got the inside cradle lock, but the left hand is through there. Van Brill hasn't been able to totally square up right now. And what you want to try to do if you're Pantelio is you want to bump him down to that right hip. If you can bump him, but that left arm is still there. He's got pretty good, he's got five points down with the knee, hand. Left foot, right foot, good, pretty good balance right there. And they get out, they are out of bounds. So Johnny Van Brill fins off a very dangerous position. Cradle locked up, but as Jim pointed out, the left hand there to keep the takedown from being called. Yeah, now Van Brill back to the, to the knees, at least on initial contact. As I was saying, Pentelio, a two-time All-American, Van Brill was in the blood round at the NCAAs. One win away from getting on the podium, but did not get it done. He's a redshirt senior graduate student at Rutgers from out of Clearview High School. Two-time qualifier. Looking to get on that podium for the first time. Right now, he's got winning at the rack in his last ever match on his mind. Like you said, he's put himself in a position right here to uh, maybe make it happen. Yeah, he's got... Pantaleo loves to work off that left-handed underhook. You see it kind of, he's drifting away from that. You see how he circled out of that? Now he's got a double underhook. Yeah, I can't see the right arm right there. But yeah, he's working a double underhook of his own. It's a good time hog here for him. They're on far leg right there, but the Wizards set up there in short time. Now nothing, nothing, no points for Van Brill. Fins off another one. Let's take a look at the first time that Pantelli was able to get to the leg on the uh, replay right there. He's able to go ahead and drop over the other side. Gets there, switches off. So he makes a decision to get to the outside. You know, when you go to the outside of the leg right there, it makes that guy who's used to going ahead and keeping that balance, it just gives him an, another opportunity to go ahead and keep you at bay rather than go ahead and choosing uh, basically going to the inside of the leg where you might have an opportunity to inside trip or trip that leg because you're closer to it. Yeah, both guys are neutral right there. Stall warning on Van Brills, and there's a nice shot right Whoa, there. Oh, to, the to the back. Yeah. You got a two-point near fall right there, and so that's a four-point move by Pantelio. Huge here as they started neutral in the second period. Pantelio gets in, scores two and two. One point escape for Van Brill. Four to one now. A lot of action here in the second period after a 0-0 first. Yeah, I'm assuming that, that Pantelio was the one that, that, that took the neutral position. Makes sense. And he went right back after that takedown. Got in and, and scored. And again, a lot of concentration on Van Brill's part just to go ahead and keep neutral. Right? And all of a sudden you get a little breather right there. And guy chooses neutral and we're right back in on your leg. Better finish this time.
holding position now is Pantaleo. So Van Brill really has to make a decision now. Straight on double leg there. He's going to look for something big right here. Pantaleo keeping his balance. No control, but he's able to go ahead and swing him down right there. Collect the points. Good reactions. Second takedown of the second period for Alec Pentaleo. Love that technique right there, okay? You get a guy coming up high, you're gonna go right into that Navy ride, take him back right back. So many times guys will not hook that leg and they'll just kind of follow him up and grab the round the waist. And it End of the uh, second period, Pentelio out in front. Pentelio also, our takedown of the meet. Right Presented by Resolite. The best takedowns take place on a Resolite. Yeah, good job of driving through. We mentioned before, last time we worked with him here, he had such an active lower body when he gets on the leg. And if you notice that time, he switched sides. He attacked the other side, Tim. That's the Resolite takedown of the meet. Alec Pentelio's first takedown of this match. Right to his back, it was two and two. That's why he's out front six to one now on the strength of that four point move. Van Brill got a lot of work to do here on top. Yeah, and it safely assume that he chose top. This is one of those tough situations here. You know, you're up six to one actually have enough riding time with yourself it's coming down below All right there's a count you know pentelio uh, coming off a disappointing loss to deacon of course anybody that loses deacon i mean uh, from northwestern one tough guy but he was up five to one at one time and uh lost then ten to eight so right. that was very disappointing so pentelio out front here trying to finish strong coming off that loss at Northwestern. Well, riding time will be broke here right now. It's under 59 seconds, so. Needs to either pin him or, or a, a couple of tilts, and one of them's got to be a four count, so. Needs to be able to do this and really commit to it. We're talking about that match to Pentelio that Deacon came from behind. What I'm looking forward to at halftime, Jim, are your Gibby Awards. <laughs> you know, we'll see what your uh, thoughts were about some of the best performances of the year, and we can look forward to that at halftime. Don't we go away problem, for the yeah. Gibby Awards. We did have some fun with that. You know, this is one of those situations where Pantaleo, nice job of rolling back out of that. I mean, he was, he knows that Van Brill is going to be extremely aggressive in the top position. Able to come back out. Now, nice duck under right there. No control. Can he pull him back in? And you can see how much balance and range that Van Brill has. That's the end of the Dangerous. match. Pentelio wins seven to two. And um, well, I think it's eight to one. Eight to one with riding time. Eight to one. Winner by decision, Alec Pentelio out in front. And Johnny Van Brill gets his appreciation with the crowd. Pantelio walks off with another Michigan win.